Hi, I'm Gina, and I've been living in a camper for about eight months now, and um, I had no idea what I was doing when I first moved into my camper. Uh, I moved here so that I could build a house, and it's taking longer than expected to get that house built. But I'm just going to talk to you for a few minutes for those who have been thinking about doing this and you have no idea what you're getting into. I want to talk to you a minute about your black and your gray water. Uh, most campers come equipped with a sensor that tells you what your tank levels are. And I'm just going to show you here real quick what mine look like. Uh, let's see if I can see it in here. Oh my goodness, my paper towel rolls in the way. Okay, there's the sensor. And if I push one of these buttons, it will tell me how much gray and how much black that I have in my tank. Well, those sensors are unreliable at best. Um, they may get toilet paper over them or some of those things and they may not work. So what I've done is just developed a, a system that I empty my black and my gray water tanks weekly on a certain day and I go out and, and open my gate valves. I do the black water first and let it all flush out and then I go behind it with the gray water. And when I first moved here, I didn't wanna to go to the expense of, I'm living in the backyard uh, of a relative and I didn't want to go to the expense of digging a septic tank. I, it was not a good fit for me to run pipe to their septic tank. So I purchased a 300 uh, gallon black water tank and I will put a link to that at the end of this video. And I have it worked out with a septic tank service that when I call them, they come and they suction that out for me, okay? But um, I've got a couple of things that I'm going to show you, like after what I do after I empty the black water tank. And that's going to be in just a few minutes. Before I uh, go through what I do after I empty the tank, I'm just going to mention something to you. And you... You may think this is totally gross, but it is it will save you a headache in the future, especially if you're not traveling around and you don't have access to uh, a campsite or something like that that you're living in currently. Um, I put all of my toilet paper in there, okay? You would think that that would have a bad odor from that, but I empty that, or I, I pull that shopping bag out a couple of times a week. It does not develop an odor, surprisingly, because it surprised me as well. And I do, when I, I put all of my toilet paper in there. I don't run it down my toilet because I don't want to develop a clog. So I just thought I'd mention that for those of you that want to venture there. Venture there. Every time you empty your black water tank, you should um, put in some drop-in treatment. I just got this at Walmart. You can order it from Amazon or whatever. But what I do is I would take one of these and I would just simply drop it into the black water tank. I should have been more prepared for this. All right, let me open this up. And it's just a little pod and just open your tank and drop that baby in there. You could hear it hit the bottom. Then I let run a lot of water in behind it. Actually, what I typically do is take that trash can right there and I fill that up with water a couple of times and I dump that in. So I'm going to stop this video and start it again. Then when I get it full of water, I'm just going to bring it out here. And I'm going to dump this right down. So I open it up, dump it in. And I'm going to do that twice every time I empty the black water tank. Because what happens is in a camper, you have a poo pyramid. Or you can develop a poo pyramid. And so you want to make sure that you have water in the bottom of your tank enough that when it goes into the tank, it's dispersed 
um, and it's easier to flow out so that you don't develop problems later on.